Well, this is what we're going to be making today. This beautiful Greek pizza. Right, come on, let's get cooking. Right, and there is a teaspoon of sugar, five grams of active yeast, and 170 mils of water. And as you can see, it's nice and foaming now. So I can put this in my bread maker. And now I can add the rest of the ingredients. Now two and a quarter cups of flour. There you go, just <laughs> measuring this accurately. And a quarter. Now a little grind of salt. and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Yeah, might give it a tiny bit more. Vegetable oil gives it a nice crust. Now I'm going to put this in my bread maker and put the setting onto dough. Now for our tomato base. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be that hot. Never mind. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh dear me. Right now we'll put <laughs> now we'll put some herbs in. I've got a mixed herbs here. We'll do the trick. One heat teaspoon. And then some minced garlic. We'll pop that in as well. Never have too much garlic. And then a little bit of salt. And that's it. We'll leave that to simmer on a lower heat <laughs> for about 15 minutes until it becomes a paste. And then I'll get my masher, my potato masher and just press it down to remove as many lumps as I can. I'll come back when I'm ready for that. Right, the first thing we're going to do is oil this pizza tray here and then we'll turn our dough out on this board. Right, let's turn this dough out. Perfect. What we're going to do is just press it and I'm going to roll it a bit and then press it into the tray, the pizza tray itself. Now that is half an inch thick and I've forgotten this dough is enough for two pizzas. So we'll just halve it and then stretch it out again. With leftover dough you can wrap in cling film and pop it in the fridge. Right there we have it. All rolled out and we'll pop it onto our tray and we're just going to leave that to proof for around about 30 minutes before we add our toppings. All right, then we'll come back then. Right, so for this Greek pizza, very straightforward, feta cheese, red onion, pepperoni, and pitted black olives. Very, very simple, very, very tasty. Right, let's get on preparing these. So these are our ingredients. All I've got to do is a slice of pepperoni, and we're all ready to do our toppings. Right, firstly our tomato base. So we can spread this around a bit. Oh, I love the colour, the bright colour of that tomato. Absolutely beautiful. 
Now let's um, pop on our olives. Come back when I finish that. All that cheese. I've seen them do this at pizza places and they're much faster. <laughs> figure if you can't be fast today you probably don't have a job there there we go there's our cheese now some pepperoni some might be a bit of a <laughs> euphemism for lops And I've cut it into slivers like this rather than leaving them whole so that when you bite into your pizza you're not left with half of it hanging out your mouth. It's always annoyed me about the way people leave large pieces of food on pizza making it terribly difficult to eat. Right, that's my rant. Um, red onions. Just had my oven reach temperature, so that's good. I've got it at 220. Should only take six or seven minutes. And now crumble some feta. My most favourite, if not the messiest part. Lovely. Right, that's ready to go into the oven. Right, let's put that in now. Right, to me that looks done. And it is. Right, let's cut this and have a wee taste, shall we? Right, let's have a wee taste of this. This end here looks to have every single ingredient in it <coughs> oh. that's perfect oh wow thank you so much for watching I really hope you make this at home and I'll catch you on my next recipe